Instructor Carlos Plain of Durham School states, Most certainly, I consumed my whole time on Earth cultivating a particular speculation of the universe, and as of now, the speculation is being tried. I invite that, since that is how we push ahead. That is the means by which we gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is disturbing a lot of what has been viewed as truth in cosmology for the New Year's. Another ultra-deep image shows that we have committed blunders in cosmology. The telescope, which was supposed to show us the earliest stars of the universe, is transforming into an adversary of the past point of view and may present to us an altogether different science. Not all experts are cowering in fear at the new realities. Various specialists welcome the new developments, since it has long been clear that something was the matter with our old hypotheses. The variations in the assessment of the development speed of the universe alone should have shaken researchers' consciousness quite some time ago. But instead of interpreting the cautions correctly, they adhered to old hypotheses. The cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, considered the most settled light in the universe, was emitted about 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had cooled enough for electrons and protons to form stable hydrogen atoms. Examiners call this progression reionization, which made the universe transparent to light. The CMB was first observed in 1964 by American physicists Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson while they were managing another kind of radio antenna technology. This discovery was for a long time seen as one of the strongest pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory, earning Pensius and Wilson a Nobel Prize and an undeniable spot in the history of astronomy. The CMB probably offers a snapshot of the early universe, with infinitesimal temperature differences providing critical information about the conditions shortly after the Big Bang. Scientists used the CMB as a solid marker of the fundamental parameters of the material universe to measure the expansion rate of the universe among other things. The astronomer Edwin Hubble had already resolved this in the late 1920s, finding that distant galaxies are moving away from us and that their speed is proportional to their distance. These observations are known as the Hubble Law or Hubble Constant. Hubble didn't have the high-level measuring tools available many years later when the CMB was discovered, which led to a recalculated expansion rate that was overall lower than Hubble's original figure. Later scientists recalculated it again, using type IA supernovae as standard candles, providing stable light that could be used as a reliable measuring point. The assessments within the CMB yielded an expansion speed of around 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while assessments using cosmic explosions yielded around 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. What does this difference in determining the expansion rate of the universe really tell us? Did you realize that this discrepancy has been known since the 1990s? Since then, researchers have known or suspected that something might be wrong with the analysis of the CMB, the assessment procedures, or the concept of the universe's expansion. The irregularity between the different assessed values of the expansion rate is known in science as the SAA strain or Hubble tension. The consequences of this strain are immense, showing that key aspects of how we interpret the universe might be flawed. For a long while, experts were confused. But since the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, went into operation, it has provided scientists with astounding data that may now shed light on the issue of the expansion rate of the universe. Some of these ancient and mature systems, whose development should theoretically have started before the Big Bang, are overturning old cosmology. Researchers no longer discuss errors or measurement discrepancies. They now speak of the greatest crisis in modern astronomy. Not only could the expansion rate be incorrect, but the entire notion of the Big Bang itself is being challenged. Images from JWST provide evidence of a universe completely different from what we have long thought. The Hubble tension was the first clue. Experts who still have confidence in old theories now face the problem. Do we actually know much about the universe? Various scientists stand on the remains of their beautiful, though imperfect, sources of both blessing and pain, exploring space with dread, while grappling with what they find. Given the crisis in science, we must ask ourselves, what do we really know about the universe? To answer this, we need to understand how science functions. Theoretical scientists use a complex web of mathematical models, accurate data, and logical reasoning to draw conclusions from the general to the specific. Their understanding comes from a mix of observations, experimental results, and speculative hypotheses. 
The term theory alone indicates that. These are constructions and ideas, not absolute truths. The only reliable data we have are the images telescopes provide, the sound waves and radiation received with radio telescopes, and the latest data from neutrino detectors or gravitational wave sensors. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have an instrument that can separate the most ancient light into individual frequencies and analyze it in extraordinary ways. JWST can show us the composition of galaxies more than 13 billion years ago, how much mass they contained, and how many stars were present. Can also recreate the shape and even the course of a galaxy's evolution. However, JWST has limitations. It cannot always definitively determine whether we are seeing galaxies or black holes with massive accretion disks that shine as brightly as a galaxy. We must face the reality that our science has long accepted too many possible outcomes as facts and dismissed alternative explanations. Research has long been confident in its accuracy, but the latest revelations from JWST offer vital clues to replace theories with new insights, as has happened often in science. Scientists are now waiting for the new discoveries, which are so astonishing that many experts struggle to come up with new explanations. The new findings shake the foundations of our physical sciences, unsettling many scientists. The present frameworks of physical science are still largely based on Isaac Newton's work from the 17th century. His laws of motion and gravity were the foundation of our physical understanding of the world and the universe for many years. Newton's laws governed the motion of objects under normal conditions and worked perfectly on Earth. However, in space, his ideas required expansion, which was largely done by Albert Einstein at the start of the 20th century. Einstein's groundbreaking theory of relativity, published in 1905, revolutionized how we interpret reality, showing that space and time are interconnected and depend on the observer's movement. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, extended this idea with mathematical proofs of gravitational anomalies, based on the bending of spacetime by masses like stars or galaxies. Einstein's theories were successful in many areas, but he also knew their limits. He realized that his theories would never fully explain the universe and hoped for a unified theory, which he did not achieve. No other expert has succeeded in doing so to this day. Where is the missing piece? Wouldn't it be fascinating to know where it lies? Michio Kaku, a prominent astrophysicist from the USA, said in an interview that solving this issue would undoubtedly win a Nobel Prize. So let's explore whether the specialists may have overlooked possible misinterpretations or whether our telescopes are to blame. Dark matter and dark energy are at the top of the list of suspects for the true causes of the cosmological crisis. Our current models of the universe incorporate ideas that dark matter and dark energy make up around 95% of the universe, yet neither has been directly observed, and their true existence has never been proven. They may not exist at all requiring entirely different explanations for the universe's development and the behavior of galaxies. Alternatively, they may have properties we don't yet understand. One idea is that the true properties of dark matter and dark energy have changed over time, possibly revealing some kind of intelligence. Gravity is another theory that needs to be tested. This force causing attraction through mass or the bending of spacetime has not yet been fully demonstrated. The idea of space-time bending originates with Einstein and has been confirmed numerous times, but we cannot rule out the possibility that gravity may behave in ways we haven't yet understood, or that another force causes the gravitational attraction between objects. Over time, a number of constants have been established in cosmology and astrophysics, but the study of the universe has always been a journey, separate from our ongoing quest for understanding and discovery. From ancient human efforts observing the stars to modern space telescopes probing the depths of the universe, each advance in theory and observation has uncovered new secrets while challenging established beliefs. The James Webb Space Telescope represents a leap forward in observational space science, designed to look deeper into the universe than ever before. One of JWST's primary goals is to study the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation with unprecedented precision. The CMB, often referred to as the afterglow of the Big Bang, provides a snapshot of the universe as it existed just 380,000 years after its inception. This relic radiation carries valuable information about the universe's early conditions, including its temperature variations, 
which are essential for understanding the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures. The discrepancy in the measured values of the Hubble constant, known as the Hubble tension, has been an ongoing challenge, suggesting a lower expansion rate of the universe. Data using type IA supernovae and other cosmological probes yield a higher value. This tension suggests that our current models may be incomplete or that there are fundamental aspects of the universe's expansion mechanisms that we still don't fully understand. Beyond the Hubble tension, JWST has the potential to reveal insights into other cosmological mysteries, such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy. These elusive components are thought to make up most of the universe's mass energy content, but their existence is still hypothetical. As JWST continues to push the boundaries of space science, it offers the possibility of transforming our understanding of the cosmos. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a groundbreaking tool in our ongoing quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Its capabilities could redefine our understanding of cosmology, forcing us to rethink long-held assumptions and explore new avenues of scientific inquiry. This new era of discovery challenges us to consider the vast unknowns of space and the possibility that the universe may be even more complex than we ever imagined.